Mona B here. So today's video, we're going to be talking about hair growth and things like that. I get a lot of questions on my channel as to how I grew out my hair um, really fast from my third big chop that I did in January. So I'm going to share with you guys what I did. I really didn't do much, honestly. And I'm also going to be sharing with you guys what I'm going to be doing going forward to keep my hair healthy so that it is flourishing. But today we're going to kind of talk about the inside more so i'm going to talk about a little bit on the outside but we're really going to be focusing on the inside so just to go ahead and get the outside out of the way but before we get into the video i do want to put a disclaimer out that some of these tips may or may not work for you guys um you guys know this channel my channel is not a hair growth channel we do not focus on hair growth over here um i like to kind of focus on you know the health of the hair although i do mostly styling tutorials um, I feel like, you know, the health of your hair is way more important. I tell you guys that all the time. So, yeah, if you're new, this channel is mostly on healthy hair. We don't really focus on length, but we are going to talk about it a bit today. Now, like I said, a disclaimer, some of these tips may or may not work for you guys, but I just wanted to share with you all what I have been doing, what I'm going to be doing. Oh, and if you guys want an updated tutorial on how to get these, like, messy cornrows that I have let me know in the comments below if y'all want to update tutorial because the last tutorial that I did on these was when my hair was shaved on the sides and I don't have shaved sides anymore so um I did a little of uh, the method a little bit different so let me know if you want to see that for me my scalp health is very important and I try to just make sure my scalp is very healthy it's not dry so some products that you can use on your scalp you guys know I've talked about this. I've ran raved about it. It is a wild growth hair oil. This stuff does really work, guys. It really works. I used this a lot when I was growing in my shave size because I wanted them to grow in a lot faster. This stuff is bomb. It works. It does have a bit of a strong smell. You can find it at your local beauty supply store. And yeah, it does work. Um, I only use it on my scalp, like when I do use it like twice a week, I don't use it every single day because I think that's a, just a little bit too excessive and you definitely do not want to clog your hair follicle because you want your hair to grow, right? So I do use this, it works guys, but don't overdo it, just don't overdo it. Maybe twice a week I recommend it and it is a strong smell, but it works guys. If you've used this in the comments, I mean, if you use this in the comments below, let other people know about this product because I know... Some of y'all was telling me that y'all really like this product and it worked and it really does. Also, you guys know I swear by cast oil. I literally have a little bit left. Um, I, it comes in a glass bottle, but I just poured mine in here because it's easy for application. But black Jamaican cast oil is bae. I did my second big chop. I grew out my hair for a year and I had a boss spot. I put this on my boss spot and y'all, it grew my hair right back in. So I definitely swear by this as well. I don't like to apply it on my hair. I really only like to use it on my scalp. I know some naturals like it on their hair. It is thick. Use it twice a week. And that's um it. But if you want faster results, I mean, you could use it like every other day. But yeah, I use it like twice a week and it works really good. I swear by this. And especially if you have like a flaky scalp as well. This is bomb. Also tea tree oil if you have a flaky scalp. But for like hair growth and stuff... This will hook you up. Also, from Hair Just 1933 is the OMG oil. This oil is bomb. It's super lightweight, so it definitely will not clog the hair follicle. It is definitely good for hair growth because it helps to, you know, stimulate your, stimulate your scalp. It doesn't clog your scalp as well. I really, really like it. It has a lot of different oils in it. It's really bomb, so I would definitely um, recommend this. It has castor oil in it and tea tree oil, so you guys know those are two oils that help hair growth, and tea tree oil fights fungus as well. So check this oil out. I do have a discount code for this oil. It will be in the description box below. I love it. So those are the oils that I use on my hair, but you guys know you also want to make sure your hair is moisturized. Make sure you have a set um wash routine and make sure you're not weighing down your hair with a lot of gunk and a lot of products and you're making sure that you are shampooing your scalp i know a lot of naturals don't like to use shampoo i personally used to be afraid of using shampoo but it is important to clarify your scalp so use that shampoo so moving away from the stuff to put on your hair because i feel like we always focus on what to put on your hair and we need to talk about what to put in your body because that is what's going to help with your hair 
Now you know drinking a lot of water is essential in eating healthy. Now I eat okay. Um, I have my days where I eat really poorly. But um, yeah, so I'm going to talk to you guys about that. So not too long ago, I went to the doctor and my iron is a really, really low. I'm anemic. If you don't know what iron deficiency is, it's basically when you have low iron in your body. Um, you're sleepy. You um, get tired quicker. What else? Um, you crave. You have weird cravings. Um, it also can cause hair loss, hair shedding, and hair breakage. And I know you guys remember time and time again on my channel, I've talked to you guys about my hair shedding, and that is why um, I've been, I had low iron for a long time, but at this point, it's the lowest that has, it has ever been because I totally stopped taking my supplement, which is not good. So right now I am taking these iron tablets right here. I take one a day. Now, I do recommend you going to your doctor to see what you are lacking as far as vitamins because that does play a big role in your hair growth and your hair health. So you definitely want to make sure, you know, everything is going good inside. And for me, I'm iron deficient. I know a lot of African American women are, and I know it is definitely common in pregnant women. I'm not pregnant, just saying. But um, <laughs> yeah, so this is what I'm taking to get my iron levels back up. And hopefully my hair doesn't shed as much and things like that. Also, I am taking vitamin D. Your hair can definitely shed and break off if you are lacking vitamin D. Um, I didn't know that. A lot of you guys in the comments when I did a video like a long time ago, you guys were telling me about this. And I asked my doctor and they said it's definitely true. Vitamin D supports, you know, your immune health. And your immune health is really, really, really important because whatever is going on with your body and your skin, you know, it can definitely affect your hair. Um, I'm not a doctor, but I'm just telling you guys a little bit that I know. So like I said, go to your doctor and find out. So I've been taking this in combination with my iron tablets. But last but not least, the newest vitamins that I am taking it is from It Works. And they are the hair, skin, and nails supplements. They look like this. Now my cousin Tiffany has a store um, that you can shop on with It Works. It's her store. And I ordered them from there. Now these are supposed to help grow your hair, your skin, you know, make your skin really nice make your skin really flawless um and also grow your nails i've been taking these for a month now i have missed a few days i'm not even gonna hold y'all up i have missed a few days but i've been seeing like a lot of before and after pictures of these and my cousin showed me a bunch so i'm like hmm i'm gonna try them out and see in combination with my iron and my vitamin d will they help like thicken up my hair and strengthen my hair that's more so what i'm looking for them to do but for you guys, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't retain any length with taking these. Um, I just actually got another, um, ordered another container of them. So I'm going to try to take all of these in the next two months. And then I will let you guys know you take two of them a day. Um, before you get these, I would definitely say consult with your doctor before taking them, especially if you are pregnant, because I don't want nobody come from me saying, oh, well, Mona B said it's okay to take them consult with your doctor but they're really really big they look like this can you see i see it and you take two a day i recommend taking i recommend taking one and then waiting a little while and then taking another one because sometimes they can make your stomach feel a little funny if you haven't eaten so you want to make sure you eat and you're supposed to drink at least eight glasses of water with these because they um contain a whole bunch of biotin and you guys know if you don't drink enough water biotin can break out your face and i really don't want that because i already got problematic skin as it is <laughs> so yeah this is what i'll be taking the link to my cousin's store will be in the description box and if you also want to become an it works distributor i will also put her um email below so you guys can email her and contact her if you want to sell it works but if you want to join this hair growth strengthening process with me um i will put it in the description box so you guys can buy them but um yeah i've noticed that my nail my nails already grow really really fast and these have been growing my nails fast like overkill like i've been cutting my nails down every single week because i don't really like my nails long but these have been growing out my nails and i've noticed that my hair is getting a, um, a lot thicker and i had like a little bit of a bald spot like right here but it's gone now like my hair is growing back in and it's crazy because i was going to share that with you guys but it already grew back in so i talked to my doctor about it and she said it's more so because of my iron deficiency 
so yeah but it's already grown back in so shout out to these i think all of these in combination have really been working for me and the oils and everything but yeah so this is what i'm going to be taking and i will definitely update you guys on these because i want to show you guys real results and everything so yeah if you want to purchase them the link will be in the description box below this is the newest thing now from January until like a, a month ago, I wasn't taking these. So that's not why my hair grew. My hair just literally grew on its own. I did nothing out of the ordinary. I used the same oils. That's it, I didn't do anything out of the ordinary. Now I just started taking these a month ago. So yeah, just to clear that up. But be patient with your hair, give it time. Don't rush it, it will grow. Just be patient, patience is a virtue, okay? <laughs> But anyways, that is it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Leave in the comments below if you've tried any of these products and what you have been doing to help your hair flourish. I would love to know. But I want to thank you all for watching. I will see you all in my next one. Bye.